FeatureCam 2015 R2 implements improvements to the automatic tool selection algorithms by incorporating checks for the exposed length of the tool. The exposed length of the tool can be related to either the feature depth or setup depth in order to avoid potential collisions of the tool holder. Now in this particular example we have a housing component and we have some deep pockets located in the central region. I'm going to go ahead and delete my existing features that have been created and run through a process of automatic feature recognition for this particular component. I can say next I have a pre-created setup on the top center of the component and we can see we've found various features across the part. I'm going to delete We'll switch off the recognition for side 3 as this isn't required for this particular component due to the stock size and I can go ahead and say finish. Now before I play through the simulation what we can see if I go to my tool manager is we have a selection of different tools. In order to machine the pocketed regions in the central location of the component we have two potential 16mm end mills that could be used. If I double click on the properties, we can see the first 16mm end mill has an exposed length of 50mm. We then have a second end mill with the naming convention of plus plus to signify a greater exposed length of 75mm. Now the deeper pocket of the two in this case has been recognized as side 5 and we can see from our results page it's using the shorter of the two end mills we don't see a plus plus in the naming convention so if I go ahead and play through a simulation what we can see is the tool holder in this particular instance gouges across the top of the component this can be verified by turning on our simulation gouge checking and again running through the simulation and we can clearly see we have a collision of the tool holder like so. So we've now implemented additional factors into the automatic tool selection which can be found by going into the machining attributes navigating to the tool selection tab we have a new tool holder clearance button. Selecting this option we can specify different clearance values so none replicates existing functionality uh, in older versions of FeatureCam. We can also define our tool selection by the feature depth or we can also define by the location of the setup and subsequently setup depth. Now in this case I wish to specify a tool to be used referencing the location of my setup. We can also specify an extra allowance if we so wish and notice as I say OK on that dialog box and just before I do to the next dialog box as I do we'll see the tool update for side 5 selecting the longer tool denoted by the plus plus. If I go ahead and rerun through my simulation, this time we can see the part fully programmed gouge free.